look on your face was so calm and serene. You know what I mean, as if you were hardly breathing. them no more. Shut up.
evening and welcome to the Myrna Loy. I'm Chris Holmes, the executive director of the Myrna Loy. With me is Kirby Lambert, our illustrious president of the board. Thank you. And we are here tonight to celebrate Myrna's Night Out, our annual benefit auction, and to um, party. We have a party in the audience, and we hope that you are partying online. We want to especially recognize in the audience some of our um, top sponsors of this evening and dear friends from home, ta home Team Helena, Helena Home Team, sorry Mary, Helena Home Team, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Montana, and Who Can Live Without Park Avenue Bakery. Well, um, thank you, Chris. Thank you all. It is indeed uh, an honor for me to be involved with the Myrna, uh, my uh, privilege and my pleasure. And so thank you all for joining us, whether you're here in person in the audience, it's great to have an audience back with us. Or if you're online, um, that's great too. We're happy to have you. And this is your gateway to adventure, excursion, treats, treasures, and trips. Uh, we want you to bid, and the bidding starts now. Yes. And if you need a reminder how to bid, if you're watching online, you just click on the link right below the screen. If you're in the audience and you have your phones out, you go to themyrnaloy.com and follow the links. Hopefully you're all registered. You don't have to download anything. If you're on your smartphone, you might want to download the app from QGive. It's called Givey. It has a little purple icon. If you have any trouble, you talk to Dan Hollow, and uh, <laughs> he will get you set up. <laughs> um, so, what do you, who, what do you think people will bid on first? Well, I tell you, Chris. Um, I think, like many of us, <laughs> I've been really looking forward to summer in Montana, and today was so hot. I think I'm done. Um, so I think the first thing people are going to want to bid on is a Yellowstone getaway. And um, yeah, we have so many great packages, it's going to be really hard for you to decide, but this is a good one. It's a winter getaway. It features two nights at the Snow Lodge, two breakfasts for two people. Um, one breakfast or, for two people. Hmm? One breakfast each, right? Well, it says two breakfasts for two people. <laughs> So, That's a lot of breakfast or, for me. Yeah, well, four, maybe four <laughs> breakfasts for one person. I don't know. <laughs> if it's good enough, why not? Um, an in-room welcome gift, a snow card discount card, and a round-trip snow coach transportation for two between Mammoth and Old Faithful. Uh, this is not something I've done, but I've always wanted to. Well, maybe, maybe you'll just run out and bid on I that. I might do that. This auction is so full of wonderful things, and all of them are to benefit the Myrna Loy and the amazing programs that this staff puts together. Um, one of my favorites is a guided day hike on the front, plus more activities in Shoto. The fabulous Dropstone Outfitting will provide this, this great guided day hike into the Rocky Mountain front, exploring some of the best hidden treasures along the way, and they will tailor the day to your liking. Then you get either breakfast or dinner at the famed Log Cabin Cafe, and a $100 gift certificate to the Stage Stop Inn with their pools and hot tubs. This package is valued at $600, and the starting bid is only $400, so start now. Well, and Chris, this is a package I can speak about personally because I've done it. And that is a float and soak on the Clark Fork River. And I can promise you that you won't be disappointed. This really is a great time. Um, it is a full day guided drift boat fly fishing trip for two on the Clark Fork River near St. Regis and Superior. Um, I can even tell you that if you happen to not be a fisherman, like my wife and I are not, the uh, host was a little confused but he was very <laughs> gracious about it. Um, he let us float without fishing. We let him fish, so I think it was a win-win all the way around. Um, it's a 14-mile float with gorgeous views, a personal fishing coach with knowledge of the best fishing holes, 
uh, beverages, snacks, and a delicious lunch. And you can end the day with a $100 gift certificate at Quinn Hot Springs Resort to enjoy either the hot springs or their fabulous dining room. So that package is valued at $400, and the starting bid is only $250, so get going. Also, if you're looking for another winter escape, we have a winter escape to Whitefish, two adult lift tickets, a $100 gift certificate for dinner at the lodge at Whitefish Lake, plus a two-night stay at the lodge at Whitefish Lake. There are some restrictions, but what a mighty package. This one is valued at $650, and the starting bid is $400. So Chris, I think people have been very patiently listening to us. Um, what about a sneak peek? Do you have something in mind for these folks? We do. We promised a sneak peek of our season. We have just a few little peeks for you to look at. I wanted to show you some of the, uh, some of the performances that we're most excited about. First, you will see a few moments of Vox Sambo, who is a Haitian artist living in Toronto. We're not sure exactly his dates yet because we're waiting on visas and all of that. Um, second, you will see, uh, you all know International Guitar Night. This year, they're bringing two women. So I want to show you one of the women that's playing with International Guitar Night. They will come in February, I think. And the third that you will see is American Patchwork Quartet. Very intriguing players. So please enjoy this little glimpse. Just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world. Beyond. For generations, these songs have absorbed influences no from America's ever evolving melting pot. No threat, no these are timeless songs, spiritual songs, devastating songs. These American folk songs are truly universal. Hi, my name is Retta Leapart, and I am the Arts Education and Community Outreach Coordinator here at the Myrna Loy. So my job is to take these fabulous visiting artists that we bring into the schools and communities um, and share the wealth that we have here at the Myrna Loy with uh, people who might otherwise not get to experience these artists. And every once in a while, we get a visiting artist who is just such a fabulous performer and an incredible educator that we know immediately that we want to bring them back. And one of these artists um, is Dalak Brathwaite, who we had here a few weeks, or a few, not weeks ago, that would have been great, a um, few years ago. But we're really excited to bring Dalak back next year. And in a few minutes, he is going to give you a little, just a little shout out to the Myrna Loy. Um, but before that, 
I want to talk a little bit about our education year this year. Um, as we all know, this has been a tremendously challenging year for educators, and I want to just say thank you to all of the public educators who are here with us tonight and who are in our community. Um, it has also been a very challenging year for arts education, and we are so grateful to have community uh, partners in our school district who value the arts in the schools and recognize that the arts are a vital thing for students, um, not even just in a time of pandemic, but especially in a time of pandemic. And Erin Cleveland um, is an educator at Capitol High School who reached out to me very early on during COVID and said, our students need the arts now more than ever. And we were able to organize um, multiple virtual experiences with Erin's class, which was amazing. She did a couple of virtual residencies with teaching artists. Um, and I'm going to turn things over to let Erin tell you a little bit about her experiences over the years with the Myrna Loy's education program. Thank you, Retta. So I'm Erin Cleveland, um, like Retta said, and I can say that um, I've always utilized the Myrna's outreach program because the arts are just so important, and it is absolutely essential to 21st century skill that we're teaching our students, right? They need creativity, they need innovation. That's 21st century skill, they have to have it. And the arts provides us with that. So, um, but with that said, when, when COVID did hit and we had to shut things down in March, I had um, seniors who were obviously devastated that their senior year was going to end this way, that they didn't get to be in the school, they didn't get to have their prom, there were so many things they felt deprived of. And I was so worried about so many of them and their mental health and how they were doing at home in isolation. And so I did reach out and Virginia Reeves, this incredible author, um, did these videos for us and helped students explore themselves and their passions and who they are as a person through writing and she helped guide us through this incredible workshop um, and I had my students I was like go out on a hike today get out in nature and we're gonna do Virginia's assignment today um, and so to have that ability to have these incredible artists come in and give our students experiences that we not can't necessarily or don't think of ourselves is such an incredible um, thing that we can provide our students. And it's only through the Myrna Lloyd that we get to do this. Um, and I know even this year, Ryan um, Egensberger, who's this incredible actor, writer, he does all this crazy, fabulous stuff. Um, he did these amazing workshops for my senior sci-fi class where we got to explore creating our own science fiction character and looking at things that we questioned or wondered about in so um, society that we got to have our own social commentary on. And it was just this wonderful creative writing experience and again it's teaching them how to be creative how to be innovative how to trust in yourself and find your own voice um, not just as a writer but as a person um, and so the Myrna Loy has provided that and uh, my husband also he's the band director at CR Anderson and he said I had to talk about this um, bless him he's at the Civic Center right now with that blackout it was his big concert night hoping it goes well but he wanted to say, you know, the Myrna Loy brings in these international talents that we couldn't necessarily bring in ourselves as public educators. And our students get to see these international musicians, these artists, these actors come in and provide our students with these experiences that you can try and show a YouTube video, but come on, I mean, no. I mean, you have to have the human in the building talking to you and showing you this cello, all of these amazing things. And so I know as an educator, I wanna thank the Myrna Loy for giving us the opportunity to bring even more of the arts into our schools because it is absolutely essential. And we have to fund the arts. And we know that when the pandemic hit all of us, where did we turn to for sustenance and sanctuary? The arts. We were watching Broadway shows online. We were listening to music. We um, tried our hand at poetry. We tried our hand at painting. I mean, we had to do things to keep ourselves sane and loving still this life and other people and reaching out. And the arts does that for us. And so I know I personally would not have the same experience as a public educator without Retta and this outreach program because it provides my students with the most incredible experiences. So, thank you. so now we'll hear a little bit from Dalla 
Brathwaite, who is a hip-hop uh, performance artist who we are bringing back next year at some point. We're still waiting to schedule that, um, but we look forward to having him back in Helena and in our schools. Thank you. I was touring around the country, and one of the spots I hit was Myrna Loy in Helena, Montana, and I had one of the best shows I ever had. It was beautiful. Um, I felt like... Uh, the community there was, they understood every word, they were listening for every joke, they were uh, ready to applaud at every sound of music, uh, they were ready to be silent every time uh, they needed to take something in. I went to the schools there, I uh, had a, uh, a discussion with uh, the, uh, the uh, juvenile and probation officers there. Uh, so. In short, I had a wonderful time. I had an amazing time. I'm hoping to come back in 2022. I just want to pledge my support to me and Aloy and what they do and the work they do and the community that they are able to surround themselves with because whoever was in that building that night was something special. Boy, Aaron, thank you. You can't do any better than, than that, having someone talk about the work that the Myrna Loy does in the community. And this is the tradition that has been established ever since the Myrna Loy was second story cinema, trying to do this kind of work and um, growing and developing these capacities. And it's because the community supports and is part of and comes to work at and comes to get involved with the Myrna Loy. And also because the community bands together to donate amazing things to our auction every year so that we can keep going. So thank you, Retta. Thank you, Aaron. That was beautifully done. And I also just want to say a big thank you to all the schools and the teachers and the community that make all of this happen. Well, Chris, I just want to say really quick, as I was listening to Erin, and I certainly appreciated what she said, I was thinking, I mean, I've always thought, I've lived in Helena 36 years now, and I've always thought first the second story cinema and then the Myrna was one of, is one of the best things about living here. And I was thinking how different my high school experience would have been if we'd have had something um, mm -hmm. like the Myrna in our small East Texas town. We did not. Uh, I mean, I... It, it was good, but it could have been so much better if we had something like the Myrna. So uh, I really appreciate what Erin said and her enthusiasm in sharing that. Yeah. It takes good teachers also to Absolutely. work with and make all that happen. Um, speaking of living with art, I want to talk about this beautiful sculpture here by Richard Swanson. It's called Twist and Shout. He is best known for his monumental sculptures, and it's a Richard Swanson sculpture that sits out on the corner in front of the Myrna Loy flamenco. And um, he has done some amazing monumental sculptures around town. This is a smaller one that is a little more human sized that you could actually fit in your house. <laughs> so um, it is a metal sculptor, sculpture. Um, one of a series that Richard has been creating lately. And if you bid on this sculpture, the successful um, bidder will also get a tour of Richard Swanson's studio for up to six people, of course, with party snacks and wine and whatever comes with that, and a guided playtime with Richard where he will bring some of his sculptural materials together, talk to you about how he does what he does, and then you get to play with his stuff and make something of your own. So we're not calling it a class or a workshop because that might sound too intimidating. It's more like playtime with this amazing sculptor, Richard Swanson. So that is um, a really cool thing that he has given us. The sculpture alone is valued at $1,800. The starting bid is $1,200. And this item also has a buy it now feature on the online auction. You can buy the package right now for $2,500 and nobody can take it away from you. So. Well, Chris, wow. 
that really sounds incredible, and this is a little embarrassing, but it was my understanding that this was the president's award, and it got to go home with the president of the board? And it can and it, oh, for only $2,500. Oh, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> catch that fine print on that. Okay, but worth it, every penny of it, I'm sure. Um, our next item is a pet portrait by Terry Melvin. And um, I think other people are certainly welcome to bid on this, but I have to tell you right off the bat, without any um, question, my dog is the most attractive dog in town. So <laughs> if you'd rather have a portrait of my dog than your dog, that is perfectly understandable. Um, it's a bit away. It's a nine by 12 inch uh, painted pet portrait of your favorite furry friend. His name is Finley, by the way. Um, <laughs> you can choose oil, pastel, or watercolor. And it comes with a $100 gift certificate for framing from Queen City Framing. And that is valued at $700. Uh, starting bid is $500. And if you do go with the Finley route, and you know, we're probably talking thousands of dollars. It'd be worth it. At, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I agree. If anybody wants to see a picture afterwards, I can show you one. <laughs> And also in the art category, we have a 3D printed sculpture with a garden tour by Chip Clausen. So we all know that Chip Clausen for years was an artist with the um, Archie Bray Foundation and ran the clay business and has done some amazing sculptural work that can be seen across the state. He also has this incredible sculpture garden next door to his house right up the street here. And he's been experimenting in 3D printing of works over the past few years. So this piece is called Swing With Me. It's uh, 11 inches wide, four and a half inches high, and um, it's made out of printed plastic, but it has this beautiful form. You also get a tour of his sculpture yard which is a treasure and amazing to behold. And you get snacks and other fun stuff as well as just the company of Chip Clausen, which is fabulous. This um, sculpture is valued at only $150 and the starting bid is only $75. So that's a once in a lifetime experience of just one of the many artists in town in Helena that makes Helena the great town that it is. Um, another artist that has certainly contributed their fair share of art to Helena um, is Brooks Oliver. And our next item is a vase by Brooks. It is, Brooks was a long-term resident at the Archie Bray Foundation and is now a ceramics instructor and program coordinator at the University of North Texas. This is a beautiful vase. It's eight inches tall. It's perfect for a handful of wildflowers or it serves equally well as an artwork all on its own. The value is 180 and the starting bid is $120. No, that, no. Sorry. I was going to argue with you, but oh. you were right. Oh, man. That's why you're president. That's, that's right. <laughs> Don't forget it. So we have another sneak peek, sneak peek video to share with you right now. I just want to talk a little bit about how we do our programming here at the Myrtle Boy. We, pro we try to present a pretty diverse um, schedule of performances. We work hard to bring performers from around the world, from other countries, from other cultures, from other ways of life and, and musical and performance traditions, so that if you come year after year, you're getting a well-rounded diet of art in your life. This year, it's a big challenge. Everybody wants to perform. Nobody can get visas. They all want to you know, wait until the starting gate and then everyone wants to come at once and nobody's sure about when they will be able to travel and what they will be able to do. So we are stumbling forward with the artists of the world and trying to make this beautiful stage open to as many people as we can. This year, we are focusing on just a few of those international concerts and um, also working on Pre presenting diverse American points of view because America is such a patchwork of cultures, which is what American Patchwork Quartet, who you just saw, um, they bring together an Indian American, that singer, 
was trained and grew up in India, but is an American citizen now, a Japanese American, an African American, and an Appalachian American to sing these, these amazing songs from American culture. Um, we're also bringing a few indigenous artists. One of the artists that you will see in the next clip is Jay Gilday, who is a Dene indigenous artist from Upper Alberta, who will be coming down in January or February, we hope, just to sing to us. He's a beautiful singer-songwriter, and you will see into his living room the video that he has made. Um, and this physical comedy group that brings a little bit of uh, diversity of form to the season. We also have some uh, Quebecois performers that are not in this video. So quite a diversity. I just want to kind of get you riled up and excited about, about some of the programs that we have. And we're also attempting to bring in more young family programming. So the first artist that you see will be the Joshua Show, who's coming in uh, October to do a program for young kids and families with young children. So we will have a little peek. It's a story about my best friend and right-hand man, Mr. Nicholas. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket, it's bright out here. Who discovers something about himself that makes him different from everyone he knows. Why are all these lights and cameras in my face? Just roll with it. And this discovery causes him to spiral down a path of loneliness and helpless despair. Now I demand to know what's going on at once. Mr. Nicholas. <laughs> This is a promotional video for the Joshua Show! Oh Will you cut that out? I was leaving for the south And the last to leave my mouth Didn't seem to speak the truth of my heart Hello, Jim. Um, I just want to Hello, let the Kirby. audience... Hello, Good to see you. Good, Good to, to see, see you. Yeah. Um, before we carry on, I just want to let the audience know, in case you're wondering, you probably are, probably have wondered in the past, whether it's um, better to view the, the films and the videos from the seats in the auditorium or back here on the stage looking at it backwards and straight over your head. Um, I can promise you, you have the better seat. Um, so enjoy. Um, and with that, let me introduce... Um, my good friend and fellow board member, Jim Schultz. I... My family. Uh, I, I was just getting ready to say I think Jim is one of those people that needs no introduction, but obviously I was wrong. Um, anyway, one of the pleasures of, of being involved with the Myrna are the great people who work here. Uh, that includes this, the fabulous staff, uh, with, of course, Chris being at the the helm, but all staff members, the volunteers, and the board members. And um, Jim is an all-around great guy who is
kind of hard to like because he's not only an exceptional teacher, he's a, a skilled artist and a very talented musician. So he really doesn't have much recommending you. <laughs> but in spite of that, he's okay. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, uh, I, I've got my own fan club, and I brought them with me, and, and, uh, and Kirby is also my boss, because I also do some other stuff for the Montana Historical Society. But one of the things that, as a performer, it has been probably, and, and I am in contact with a lot of different performers that from my level all the way on up to, you know, AAA level, and everybody, like Chris said, is just dying to get out there and play in a venue. So when the floodgates open, it's going to be like, you know, a, a giant gush of people wanting to come. <laughs> so we, we hope you, when, when they are booked, we hope that you turn out and, and give them their, their due because they definitely want to perform for you. So now, what are we talking about? Well, we're going to next, uh, introduce the next round right. of auction items. And we're... Um, do I get to do this one? If you want to, I'll let you. All right. You know, I spent a, 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 a summer cooking and washing dishes in Great Falls, and I can just say that there are some things that are really cool in Great Falls, and we have a Great Falls getaway. Actually, um, is that what's on the screen? Oh, okay. all right. <laughs> yeah. we, we want you to know this is carefully scripted, and we haven't messed up yet. <laughs> So there's, so there's some things that can only happen in Montana, and when you bid on this, this is what you can expect, a private tour of the C.M. Russell Museum with many extras. It's absolutely fantastic. If you've never been to the C.M. Russell Museum, it's a must. And then right next to it is Charlie's studio, Charlie Russell studio. A private night stay for two in a deluxe suite in the historic Arvon Hotel, and I can tell you I have stayed multiple times in the Arvon Hotel. And it is, in my opinion, one of the finest hotels in Montana. It truly is a great experience. It's small, but it's beautiful. So take advantage of it. Complimentary, complimentary breakfast for two in the Celtic Cowboy uh, next door. And if you go in to the Celtic Cowboy, you're going to see where the crack is grand and the girls are pretty. That was a quote from one of my songs, and the guy that opened it up called me up and said, can we use that when you go in to the, to the pub? And I said, sure, um, for a small price. And I got a t-shirt. <laughs> Gift certificates totaling $115 to the Celtic Cowboy Bar and Restaurant for lunch or dinner. A gift card for a unique old time dinner at Tracy's Family Restaurant. A gift card for pizzazz, a fun gourmet and kitchen store. And a gift card for the Mighty Mo Brewery. Uh, the value is $500, and the starting bid is $350. It's a good, good thing. It doesn't get better than Charlie Russell. So. No. Um, and our next auction item, hopefully, is a private party with Goldie Vox. And um, Goldie Vox is, of course, Helena's favorite indie pop cover band. Uh, you get to schedule your own private party. Plus, there's a six-gallon keg of your favorite beer from Ten Mile Brewing Company, a hard decision that you have to make. Uh, this is valued at $1,500 with a starting bid of $1,000. And do you want me to do this? No, yeah, well, I could do that one. Okay. We can just jump into that one. We're keeping Lenny on his toes, and I, I said that the staff at the Myrna are great. Uh, this is a, an example. We've gone slightly off script, and Lenny's keeping up with us, so thank you, Lenny. All righty, where are we? Okay, are we in Great Falls now? Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you with Jim Schultz? Oh, okay, there we are, I'm right here. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, and thank you for allowing me to introduce this one, Kirby. Certainly. So I'm, I'm here to tell I'm, you that, uh, go ahead. I want you to tell them how great this is. <laughs> So how did your family come to Montana, or were they here originally? And one of the things that I love to do is write historical songs. And so 
there's a guy by the name of Jim Schultz, and he plays in a band called Dublin Gulch. And, uh, and he, that would be me, I, I will work with you and an archivist to help you research your own family story, and we will put it into song. And we'll record the song, and you will get your own private um, memento for your family. It's um, one of the, the people that you will be working with is Jody Foley. She is an oral historian, and she will work with you for an hour and help you out with, if you're going to interview somebody in your family, she will definitely tell you what kind of equipment to use and how to go about getting the best information by giving the best questions. And this is, a, this is priceless, I have to say. And uh, the, it's valued at $500, and the starting bid is $300. I agree, that is a priceless one. Um, you, won't, you won't be sorry if you bid on that. <laughs> So, if nothing has caught your eye yet, you'll want to browse on the website for a plethora of date nights, family fun packages, getaways for two, or just fun things that you'll want to do. Or, if you have friends coming to visit who need to, whom you need to introduce to Montana, and if your life is already full, there are opportunities to donate whatever amount you want. You can support the Myrna's art education program that we heard about earlier and all the great work it does. You can support creative place-making projects in East Helena and in the Rodney Street area. You can support grants to artists program, uh, which has funded so many wonderful projects over the years. Or you could help support our amazing films and other activities here at the Myrna Loy. Well done. In 1995, on this stage, I met two of my dearest friends. We were part of a show that was broadcast called River City Folk, and it was hosted by an individual by the name of Tom May. And these two individuals are Ken Wilson and Kim McKee, known collectively as Wilson and McKee. And from that point on, we became musical soulmates, and they have been a vital part of the Celtic Cowboy, the annual Celtic Cowboy Christmas show for the last 21 years. And they have graciously put together a little video to say thank you to the Myrna Loy and to kind of greet you for this next season. Even though they can't be here to play, they will do something for you special on screen. Well, Wilson and McKee. 30 years of venues and we've seen them all. Mosquito infested outside stages, Quonset huts on the prairie with cows mooing in the background, historic opera houses with ghosts, library basements, castles, 400 year old buildings, band shells, bakeries, school gymnasiums, hospital lobbies, malls, street corners. You name it, we've played it. Yes, musicians will play in any venue possible for the opportunity to share their music. But the venue that means the most to us is the Myrna Loy. Not only is the town, the building, and the story dear to us, but what makes it magic are the humans who make all the magic happen. The Myrna treasures the arts, arts education, and arts outreach, and its honored place in the community. It's obvious that the community treasures the Myrna, by the support it's been shown in the past. So here's your opportunity to continue to support the Myrna Loy and all its endeavors. Bid high, give generously, and continue the mission of this amazing spot on the planet. Thanks in advance from the Myrna Loy, the staff, and Wilson and McKee. Aren't they great? Thank you, Jim. As usual, he gets up and dominates the stage, doesn't obey, goes rogue on us. <laughs> no, he's perfect. We love our board members. How are you doing? Are you having I'm, any fun? I'm having a great time. I hope everyone else is too. Yeah. Are you doing okay? Good. This is not what we do for a living. <laughs> 
I don't know, one of my goals, Chris always introduce, introduces the live performances here at the Myrna, and I always marvel at the amazing job she does. And someday when I grow up, I want to be just like Chris when I'm on the stage. So. <laughs> Okay, your check is in the mail, Kirby. Thank you. <laughs> um, more packages. Are you bidding yet? Yes. Good. <laughs> this group of packages are more adventures to be had, as if life here at the Myrna, amongst all of you people, was not an adventure enough. We have even more. Um, is this you or me? This is you. Oh, this is me. So our first package in this group is Enlightened Fishing on the Missouri. It's with statesman philosopher Hal Harper. It includes a great launch, uh, hand-tied flies, and a world of wisdom to go with them. The best catch and release system in the world, and it includes launch, drinks, and a couple of secret hand-tied flies. Um, it's valued at 500 and the bidding begins at 300. So, as you say, there are people who want to go on the river and look around and be present and not go fishing. That's a few, there are a few of us. So what if you just want a, gent a gentle float on the Missouri? The fabulous Shalon Hastings of Fly Fish Her Adventures will take you on a four-hour drift boat float, and you can fish or you cannot fish. What did you do when you didn't fish? Did you read a book? No, we just looked at the scenery. It was incredible, yeah. and, and talked with our um, amazing host, Larry Comer. It was a, a great day. So Shalon is expert at creating wonderful river, river experiences, particularly for women. And her trip includes gourmet food, beverages, and more. Many, many stories. It will be a wonderful getaway day and a great experience for visitors to Montana as well on our beautiful Missouri River. Valued at $300. Starting bid is $200. Go after it right now. And if for some reason the river doesn't appeal to you, fishing or not, you can buy uh, one of our mini gift, gift baskets. By now, you found that your way to the auction page, and you don't need us to help you find it. You right? Can bid, that's right. You can bid on right. items large and small, experiences grand and simple. All of this goes to support the Myrna Loy, so not only do you have a good time or something great to take home, you also are supporting many fantastic activities throughout the year. And Chris, do you have one more video for us? Thank you for reading that line off the script, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> I do. We have another um, group of artists who really wanted and were scheduled to come and perform for us last spring. Their name is Unit Sozo. They are a taiko drumming group. They've been here for a couple of performances and residencies. And we're here working on a piece that the Myrna Loy co-commissioned called A Constant State of Otherness that is a taiko drumming theater piece about belonging and home and outsiderness and otherness. And they were to come and perform the world premiere performance in April of last year. So we know that didn't happen. In the meantime, our sense of otherness, alienation, togetherness, home, has really shifted over the last year, and they have continued to co-create this piece. They will come back next May, do another week-long residency here in town, in our community, and in the schools, and then they will perform this piece. I think it will be the first time it will be performed in public. It's now been performed virtually, but they love our stage, they love us, and they can't wait to come back, so here's a little video postcard from Unit Sozo. In 2016, we first performed at the Mirandoloi with our Tycho performance, Insatiable, 
It was so exciting to share Taiko with all ages and to perform in such a beautiful place. We remember the Myrna Loy, their staff, the art, the community, the people, all have been dear to our hearts. And we hope you will support their great work. We're really looking forward to coming back to Helena in spring 2022 to debut our new show, Constant State of Otherness, with all of you. So, please support. Please support. Please support. Please support. Please support the Myrna Loy. Until we meet again, we want to share a song written for this production called Sayonara Mata Ashita. Goodbye until tomorrow. We can't wait to see you someday tomorrow. of community that we have, that we are. We are a community of artistic, creative, connected souls and spirits that reach across all kinds of boundaries and all kinds of geographies, all kinds of cultural differences, all kinds of experiences. And we come together through these moments that we get to share through art and music and dance and theater and movies and laughter and parties and even punching a little, clicking on a little auction item <laughs> on a virtual auction helps this community-fired arts organization keep going as the hub of all of this activity that connects us all together. So I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who donated, participated, stopped by to help, made cookies and brownies, took photos, got the tie out. Yeah, even t tied it myself. Tied the tie, <laughs> showed up, donated all these wonderful uh -huh. things. I, I think we do need to, to single out two people by name, however, and that's Dan Hollow and Molly Roby, who've yes. been working <laughs> like mad on putting all of this together, and they've just done an incredible job. Uh, other board members have helped, but Molly definitely has um, carried the load on this one, and we really do appreciate it, and she's done a fantastic job. Yes, thank you. And I have to give a special shout out to my right-hand guys, Benji Cosgrove and Lenny Eckert, without whom everything falls apart. <laughs> So once again, if you have any problems logging on or registering for the online auction, give us a call, give us, send us an email, give us a shout out. We will help. We will, Dan will come over to your house and get At three in on the morning. For you. At three in yes. the morning, he's happy. <laughs> right? <laughs> mm -hmm. 24 hours, exactly. And uh, the bidding it continues through up until 9 o'clock this Sunday. 
So keep checking back, see if you're winning. Up your bid just a little bit. Nothing goes wasted, it's really super fun. And um, continue the party as much and as long as you want to. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our sponsors. And Kirby, thank you. And you thank did a you, great Chris. Job. Well, thank you, thank you. First. Thank you. No, no one fell off the stage or anything. Yeah, so. no one yeah. died. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, and thank you all. Um, yeah, have fun. Yeah.